yeah. of things that don't necessarily make sense. Yeah, yeah, like Trinity is one of them. Yeah. Trinity yeah. is one of them. And do you also, how do you see original sin? You know original sin now. I do know the original sin. Yeah. And genuinely, I feel like it's an injustice, isn't it? How can it how can a baby? Yeah. And I feel like the way Jesus was born is it's really, as you said, it's a very a big injustice because he was born as a miracle, mm -hmm. and anyone else is just uh, has to go through the scene. Otherwise, you yeah. Can't, you can't, yeah. Uh, it makes no sense, isn't it? Like, yeah. how can how can you how can you say God is going to, uh, uh, in order to forgive the sinner, God will kill an innocent man? As if like, you know, you are a sinner. No, you're... No. I'm a sinner, I don't apologize. We all are, but we ask forgiveness to God. So, uh, so we say like, if there is a life, there must be a purpose. So, why God created us, that cannot be known through our wounds and desire, but rather God communicated this message through prophets and messengers. And Jesus Christ fits on the category to be a prophet and messenger, rather than a God himself. Because yeah. he never said, look, I am God and worship me. Rather, he was worshipping to God. God never worshipped to God. Right, isn't it? Like, for example, when Jesus fasting, when someone fast, he fasts for someone to be pleased. Yeah, fasting is an act of worship. You don't do it for yourself. When you pray, let the cup pass away from me. Let the trouble take away from me. Why is he making this? Because he cannot do it. He cannot help himself. That's why he's asking help to the one who can provide help. God can provide help and he is unable to help himself. The same way, look at our life. We need God's guidance to help ourselves because this is a temporal life. Now imagine you die, we all die one day. And how can we face God? Um, right. Be pure, right? If, 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 you, if you die and you feel like you have sins, then you're not going to be pure. Mm. And you're not going to die yeah. in peace. I mean, yeah. So, so Islamic concept is, is called Tawbah, forgiveness. Forgiveness like everyone we have designed to do sin, but if we stay away from the sin, we have, sorry, we have designed to do sin, all also designed to do good as well. Now, if we chose to do good instead of sin, Allah will reward with the paradise. If you fall short and do sin and go to God with repentant mind, with making the intention that you don't do it again, you act upon it, and you feel remorse about it and Allah will forgive it. So in, in Islam, Allah does not need to kill someone to forgive someone. So the salvation on Islam is that Allah said La tazir waziratun means every soul has to be at their own accountability. Means I am not taking your sin, you are not taking my sin. Now how do we worship then? This is the most fundamental question that we are after now. If, you know, you, you agree with the concept of Islamic God, right? Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second thing is, how do you worship God? Is that if you follow the prophets and messenger, they are sent by God. Do you believe God sent messenger to communicate to human being? I think so. What, uh, I mean, what would be your checks? If someone say, I am a messenger of God. Imagine if you are in the time of Muhammad, peace be upon you. I would listen to them to understand better what they have to say. Okay. What about, in order to believe them, what do you have to see to believe? Or what do you have to know to believe? I think I just need to see it on myself to see if it's actually happening or not. If whatever mm -hmm. they say is actually true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually of my life. Yeah. So what about if prophets and messenger comes with miracle? Then I think it's easier to believe, right? Yeah. Why? Because if someone uh, if someone say I'm a messenger of God, 
surely God have given something so that he can prove to community that he is indeed a messenger of God. He needs to perform something supernatural. That's why Jesus was given those healing power. That's why Jesus was giving that power from uh, uh, giving life to dead by the permission of God. Right? So these are the evidence, hujjah, that Allah given to their prophets so that human being can listen to them. So miracle actually does not make anyone divine, but it will make as an acceptability to the human beings. So therefore, all of the prophets perform miracle. Muhammad is the last and final one. And he brings, and they bring the same message. So their acceptability, we can take it from the miracle. And their truthfulness. Now imagine if someone never lied his entire life. Never lied. Not a single lie. Not a single one. Do you think the same person would lie about Allah? And they, would, they can't. They, would they can't. Nah. And that lie, he would have done so if there is a benefit. Like he was given offer. Let's say, I mean, there is a chance that if he lie, then he will get offer to, to be the prime minister of the country, be a president of the country. It was actually opposite to that. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was told that we will give an everything to you if you want kingship we will give you kingship if you want best woman we can give you best woman if you want wealth we'll make you the most wealthy among you the community but one condition don't spread the message of oneness of god and worship god alone because they were worshiping statues and stone and you know how prophet told them you know the things you are worshipping. Can they speak to you? They say no. Can they help you? No. They cannot even hear you. If it is fall from your hand, it break down. It cannot even help himself. Then why do you worship? Worship the one who created everything. That's why in a Quran, if you look at Quran, Allah said, do not worship the, not the sun, not the moon, but the one who created both. So, do you so far believe what else? I, I do believe what you say and I've been interested in, in Islam for a while just to understand better what you are. But you, do you know you already believed in Islam now? I believe more than I used No, you already a Muslim by belief. That's what I meant. You didn't realize it. Because you believed in Allah, who is one and only. And you don't believe in Trinity, but you believe prophets miracle you believe in prophets then if you believe in prophet then you believe prophets message which Allah is saying there is only one God worship the same God and this is the life of test in this world and Allah will resurrect on the day of judgment and make accountable to everyone Allah will make accountable like what we have done so Allah will ask about how uh, uh, about your prayer you know five daily prayer Allah will ask about it Allah will ask about how did you earn money? How did you spend money? Allah will talk about oh, everything in this life. Nothing will be hidden. An atom amount of good work will be brought forward. An atom amount of sin will be brought forward. But in the mercy of Allah, you will go to the paradise, my sister. And in order to attain that mercy, someone must accept Islam. And start off with five daily prayer. Do you think five daily prayer is difficult for you? Um, I never, I don't think it is too much. I think it actually puts you in the right path and it gives you more, um, a, a, better, a better mind, it makes you think yeah. here and you feel more relief when you do that. I haven't actually prayed for a very long time, so I do believe that. Maybe that's. But hard. except, I mean, in order to, of course, pray, you need to believe in first. Yeah. So you already believe. Would you want to accept it? You know, it's very easy accepting Islam. You say two things. You say there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, the only one. And Muhammad is the final messenger of God. If you say this and believe in it, you're a Muslim. And then you can do five daily press. Would you want to do that? Um, I would want to be, I would want to understand better Islam. Yeah. I just really need to go. Yeah. So what I was going to say, in order to understand the rest of the thing, 
You... I'm sorry, bro. Do you want to see your coffee? Uh, I can have a coffee, please. Sure. Do you want a cup, cup of coffee? I'm just going. Out. Okay, I'm give me a give. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna say two things, my sister. What's your name? I don't. Know. Okay, I don't wanna say. It. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna say one thing. Whatever you wanted to believe in Islam, I am still learning and everyone else is learning. There are certain steps we need to know to follow Islam. You already have that. You can enhance your knowledge by becoming a Muslim. If you take the step, now imagine, can we guarantee our life that we will be alive in next half an hour time? So that's why it's important to take the step and then slowly pray. Look, if I say tomorrow will happen, tomorrow will be not never happen. Tomorrow will be today for tomorrow, you see. So that's why I say my sister, it's a very simple thing. Nobody will know Allah and you. And at least if you know that Allah, I have accepted you as my maker and I'm going to show gratitude towards you. I'm going to pray five daily prayers in my best abilities. If I fall short, you know, I'll ask forgiveness from Allah and then you try to recover the prayer. Well, I was going to say, accept it. If you don't feel it now, then you can do it later. But I would say, because we cannot guarantee our life. And imagine if we live our life in a state of this, without showing the gratitude towards God, then we will be accountable for our own affairs. You know, yeah. we know I, I the state of, that. yeah. Yeah, so you can you can watch the video uh, in uh, Dawa to Soul, okay. Dawa number two Soul, and and also uh, I, I can get you uh, Mustafa. Can I have a copy of Quran? So it's it's important to um, take the step. Don't delay it. Do you want to take it now or do you want to take it later? No, 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 the, the testimony. You want to become a Muslim now? Or? No, I will Okay, I okay, fine. No, no problem. But I told you the consequence. Why delay it? Yeah. The, the reason why we ask people to accept it because we don't know when is our time of death. We know our date of birth, but we don't know our date of death. DOV is known and DOD is not known. So this is a gift from us. Uh, so copies of the Quran, yeah. And, uh, you know, like this one is... This one as well? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm, I'm just making sure that you have the, yeah, you have all this full package. Yeah. Look after yourself and Thank make you that so. decision. Don't delay. Because you know, devils always tempt you, it will say to you, look, you are still young, you know, you know, you have plenty of time left. But he will not remind you about the truth. He will always give you a false notion. But don't act on that false notion. Act on something. Look at the Quran, what Allah said to you. Okay. I'll, I'll Look it up. It was a pleasure talking to you. And have a lovely evening. You too. Thank, Thank you. So you. Thank you. Um, Alhamdulillah. Um, sister is curious about Islam. She had some uh, Muslim friends. Um, she kind of believe in Islamic way. She just needs to take some time, read about it, and fill the right moment so that she will accept it. Please make dua for her. May Allah guide her to Islam. And I believe uh, this conversation will open her eyes, inshallah. And please make dua. Assalamu alaikum.